Doubt arises from a lack of knowledge. Knowledge about the past, the present, the future, and every possible outcome of your actions applied to your art. It sounds like this. Is this line clean enough? What if I make it more energetic? Should I change the weight of this other line? Is this character acting correctly? Are the eyes aligned? Should I make this area all black or is a mid-tone better? And what if people don't care anyway? And so on and so on. This is a feeling you've probably experienced before. That frustration of your, of your work never been enough. Maybe it took you months or years to realize it, to be aware of it as it did for me. Or maybe it's something you struggle with every day. I'm talking about the constant doubt that strikes you while drawing, that thought that keeps telling you that you are not yet at the level you want to reach, that your work is never as you imagined it in your head. Let me share my personal experience here. It took me many years to realize that the issue wasn't just technical, but also mental. Every time I looked at my drawings, I compared them to those of the artists I admired and uh, couldn't help but think, why am I not that, at that level? Why is it taking me so long to improve? And it wasn't just a matter of technical skills. Maybe, maybe one day I'd get the anatomy right, but then I, I would lack the gesture or I would feel that my work didn't truly really reflect what I wanted. It was uh, if, as if the confusion in my mind was manifesting on the paper. And this is true in all aspects of life, where your inner world manifests in the outside world, which is just a reflection of what you feel inside, unaware of the fact that in order to change the world around you, you must first change yourself. In this case, I was making every line and stroke inconsistent with what I imagined because my inner world was messed up. So there is a very real problem that we all inevitably face in 2024, social media. You find yourself bombarded with a myriad of enticing promises and illusory shortcuts, tutorials that promise you you can become a master in no time, alternative methods to learn a style without going through the basics. And people will judge or make you feel guilty for using references and plus, and this is one of, oh my God, I, I don't even get me started on this. Many make you believe that using AI as a reference for studying is a useful method, but as you all know what I think, that's total bull and you also know who I'm talking about in this case. <laughs> With all this conflicting information and options, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and start doubting yourself. You wonder if you're making the right choices, if the path you're on is the best one for you, and if you are just chasing illusions instead of building a solid foundation for your artistic development. However, there is a way out of this mental maze. For me, after years of art school and personal reflection, I discovered that the key to making real progress is to return to the basics. And I'm not just talking about improving in perspective, gesture or anatomy, but also strengthening your own mind. Meditation plays a crucial role in this process for me, as it helps me calm my mind filter out the background noise and increase awareness of the present moment. This allows me to make clearer decisions and focus on what really matters. Additionally, I found that constantly looking at other artists' work can distract me from my primary goals and lead me to compare myself with them, creating frustration and a sense of inadequacy. So what I need to do is keep my artistic path free from these distractions, allowing myself to focus 
on my personal progress without being overwhelmed by comparison. In the end, the key is to develop a clear learning plan and have a personal project that truly excites you. As I always say, learning by doing real projects is the best way to, to challenge yourself. Like, like myself these days, I'm making some pages of Batman so that I have a real asset to show and have a real chance to get hired. And we know why that's important. First, you have high stakes because since it's a real project, you, you, can't, you can't help but give your best to make it great. You'll publish it and people will judge it. <laughs> like you can go and watch how I'm working on live stream publicly. I have nothing to hide because it's real. And if you're afraid of judgment, check out my video on how to handle critics. Second, because in any case it's a real project, you can monetize it or use it as a portfolio to get a job, as I said. Whether it's a comic book, an illustrated book, a, a video game, or whatever you want, having something important to fight for helps you stay motivated and overcome doubts. The point is that, yes, doubt will always be there. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> but it shouldn't paralyze you. You should focus on the basics and build a f solid foundation and keep your mind clear of nonsense. You'll be able to achieve anything. And those doubts will weigh less because you'll have the confidence that you're building something solid. So if you're also overwhelmed by doubt every time you draw, I hope this has been helpful. Let go of distractions and focus on what really matters. And don't forget to subscribe talking about what really matters and leave a like and let me know in the comments what you think. See you soon.